The zoom in and follow OBS effect will allow you to create exceptional tutorials and live presentations. You'll be able not only to zoom in and out, but also to follow the mouse cursor. In the next few minutes, we'll install the OBS script that will allow you to replicate this effect. And we will see some use cases. For example, how to use this effect on video calls to zoom in and out your camera. Or zoom in with the second camera while you're doing an overhead shot. For example, if you're doing a product demonstration or if you're running a software tutorial and you want your audience to focus on one part of the screen. We'll also see how to get the most out of this tool by combining it with other tools like on-screen drawing tools or the Elgato Stream Deck. It's going to make your production so much more professional and at the same time, so much easier for your audience to follow. Hi, my name is Enrico and my mission is to help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. The OBS Zoom In and Follow script requires a little bit of work for the installation. Don't worry, because you'll have to do it only once and then it will be there for you to use forever. To run the effect, we'll need to install a script that's called Zoom In and Follow. However, this script, in order to function, needs Python to be installed. If you're wondering what Python is, well, it's a programming language, but don't worry, you don't need to know it. Actually, I have no clue about it. So how did I learn these steps? Well, I watched the tutorial by Andy Lippi, and you should definitely follow this guy if you are into advanced OBS features. Here I'll do a condensed version of all the steps, and I'll focus at the end on the application of this effect for professional use. So let's start by installing Python. Go to the Python download page, the link is in the description, and here you'll find version 3.6.8. You may want to read the notes for your operating system and then scroll down to download the appropriate files. I'm on Windows, so I'll download the executable installer and show you the procedure for Windows. If you're on Mac, I'm sure you can figure out the equivalent steps. Once you've downloaded the installer, double-click on it and before you run it, tick the option Add Python 3.6 to Path and then click on Install Now. When the installation is complete, click on Close. Now open OBS, go to Tools and then Scripts. Now you'll see an additional tab appearing that's called Python Scripts. Click on it and here you will see a blank field. Click on Browse, then go to your C drive, Users, open the folder with your username, then App Data, Local, Programs, Python, and then single click on Python 36 to select the folder. Now click on Select Folder. And you're good to go. You've set up Python in OBS and now you'll be able to run Python scripts. If you're in doubt about the path, I'm going to write it for you in the description below. Well done, first step is done. It's now time to install the Zoom In and Follow script. The script is actually called OBS Zoom and Follow. You'll find the link to the download page in the description. Go to Code and then download zip. We now have to install two additional things, as you can see here in the install instructions. To do so, you'll have to go to your computer search function and type cmd. This will open the command prompt. I know it may look a little bit scary, but don't worry, it's very easy. Go back to the install instruction and copy this part of the line saying pip install pinput. Paste it in the command line and then press enter. Here it says mine is already installed, but this should work properly for you. Then go back to the instructions and copy pip install screen info. Paste it in the command line and again press enter. And we're done with the command line. Now first unzip the file you've downloaded from GitHub that you'll probably see in the downloads folder. When you've done it, go to OBS, Tools, Scripts and then on plus to add a script. The OBS script folder will open. Here navigate to the download folder Open the unzipped folder and copy the zoom and follow mouse script file. Click on the back arrow until you get back to the OBS script folder and here paste the file. Select it and then click on open. The installation part is done. Now we only have to fine tune the settings. I'll focus only on the settings that you need. For the other settings, you can leave the default ones or copy mine if you like the effect that you're going to see. The first thing here is to select the display source. This will tell OBS which display source it should apply the effect to. I only have one, that is the display capture, so I'll choose this one. But you could apply the script also to other sources, and we'll see later how we'll apply it to the camera. Then select the appropriate display, or adjust the manual monitor width and height to the dimensions of your monitor or of the region of the monitor you want to apply the effect to. Zoom window width and height are the dimensions of the window the script will zoom in. I'll have here 720p. 
Before looking at the other settings, let's see how the script works, so it will be easier to understand them. To launch the script, we need to set up a hotkey. So go to Settings, Hotkeys, and then look for Enable Disable Mouse Zoom and Enable Disable Mouse Follow. And then choose a key combination of your choice. Here I'm choosing Ctrl Q and Ctrl W. And then click on OK. Now if I type Ctrl Q, the window will crop from 180 to 720p. In order for it to zoom in and fill the whole output window, you have to right-click on the display capture source or the source you are using, click on Transform and then Edit Transform. Here change the position alignment to center, but that's not enough because this is what you would get. So let's go back to the same dialog box and let's change the bounding box to Stretch to Bounce and click on OK. Now if I press Ctrl Q it zooms in and if I press Ctrl W it follows the mouse cursor. It works! Let's now play with the other settings so you can fine-tune the appearance. You can increase the active border, that is the space around the cursor that activates the follow cursor effect. You can increase the smoothness, I like it to the max, and also the zoom duration. And I'm also setting it to the maximum. Just play with the settings until you're satisfied. If you're finding this video useful and want to do something for me, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch the video. Thank you. Great, everything is set up. Let's now have a look at a couple of use cases for your professional presentations. I'm going to combine two in one here. I've opened up my Stream Deck software. This is where I'm telling my Stream Deck what each key should do. If you don't know what a Stream Deck is, well, it's a control panel with physical keys. It's a must-have device if you want to increase your remote work productivity. And I have a video on it that I will link in the description below. One of the applications that I'm managing with the Stream Deck is Epic Pen. That's a simple but very useful on-screen drawing tool. So I'll move a couple of keys and make space for an additional one. I'm now going to tell the Stream Deck that when this key is pressed, it should run two actions in sequence. And those two actions will be the activations of the hotkeys that I've set up in OBS. So action 1 will be Ctrl Q and action 2 will be Ctrl W. I'll choose a magnifier icon that will remind me that this is the zoom in effect key. Now if I press the key, OBS will zoom in. The nice thing is that I can combine this with the drawing tools of Epic Pen. This arrow key here is a shortcut to Epic Pen arrow feature. So when I'm doing a tutorial, I can use the arrow and then zoom in. And I can control this only with one finger on the Stream Deck. As you can imagine, it's much easier than remembering the hotkeys and pressing them on the keyboard. Another useful application is when you're doing a software tutorial, either live or recording a video. So for example, I'm opening a Word document and let's say I want to explain how to insert a shape. The Insert tab is small at the top. The zoom in effect allows your audience to better focus and see the area of the screen that you're showing. You have to be careful when you're using hotkeys in OBS and at the same time you have other applications open, as what you've set up as a hotkey in OBS may also be a shortcut in the other application. So make sure that there is no overlap as it just happened to me. And then again, if we combine Epic Pen with OBS, your explanation will be much clearer. I've shown an example on Word, but you can do it on whatever software, including OBS tutorials. The zoom and follow script can also be applied to a camera. So let me open zoom and send my camera to the video call with the OBS virtual camera. I'll have the script running on the video capture device source and by doing so I'll be able to zoom in and out my camera. This works with whatever camera. So if you have a second camera for an overhead shot and you're running a product demonstration, you can imagine how useful this zoom and follow effect is. OBS can make your remote presentations so much more engaging and professional. And the zoom and follow script is just one example of what you can do with it. If you want to become a remote presentation hero, then you should definitely check my course. I'll put the link in the description below. Have a look at it. And then if you got curious about Epic Pen, you should watch this next video here. Watch it now.